Hey everybody, it's halftime at the uh, Cotton Bowl, so I figured I'd try a beer I've never tried before. I've been seeing this uh, this brewery's beers. They just appeared on the shelf a couple months or on the shelves a couple months ago. Haven't really tried them. This is a brewery out of uh, Glendale, Wisconsin, called uh, Chameleon Brewery. I don't know anything about them. Never tried any of their beers. This is one called Hop on Top. Uh, it says uh, a little bit about the brewery from the website. Apparently, it's fairly new. It says Chameleon Brewing, dedicated to creative, creating innovative craft beers true to the American spirit, was started by Randy Sprecher, founder of Sprecher Brewery, crafted to please and tease a wide variety of palates. Chameleon beers are light in body yet full of complex flavors and aromas. Whatever that means. Uh, about this particular beer itself, it says, Savor this aromatic, non-bitter brew featuring a complex bouquet of dried flowers and hops. Light-bodied and refreshing, Hop on Top has a toasty pale malt finish. Um, aged four weeks, ABV 4.2%, pretty low. IBUs 11, uh, pretty low. Um, I'm going to call it a... Aromatic non-bitter brew uh, doesn't say anything about an APA or anything. Uh, both Beer Advocate and Rate Beer call it an APA. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's get this in a glass and see what we got. Uh, it's exciting to see new breweries start up, and this one's just got a plain, like dark green cap. Nothing worth worth saving. Good God, that's fizzy. My God. But not much head for being as fizzy as it is. I tell you, this almost looks like a... This almost looks like a lager. I mean, that is a pale, pale yellow color. Um, there's, a, there's a hint of a gold to it, but... Uh, but not a lot. Didn't get, didn't generate much of a head, just not even a finger. Can't really smell anything yet, so let me give it a nose on this and see what we have. Okay, this is a, this is a flower garden. I mean, there's this floral sense for sure. Um, like they said, it's aromatic, that's for sure. Complex bouquet of dried flowers and hops. All I'm getting is, all I'm getting is flowers. I mean, this is a flower garden. Not getting any, there may be a light citrus scent there. I'm not getting any malts at all. But, yeah, this is a, I mean, this smells like a, this smells like a flower garden. Pre predominant roses, I think. I don't know how they get to, how they get that aroma out of it, but uh, this is an odd flavored beer. It's a now that it's in the glass, it's it's looking a little darker. It's not quite as bright yellow as it was and clear yellow. It's a slightly hazy golden straw. I don't know what happened after the maybe it was just all that carbonation coming through it, but. It's a very odd looking, very, this is the oddest smelling beer I've ever smelled. Give it a taste and see what we have here. It's just, I don't know. Okay, there is a light, very light citrus, almost lemon lime type flavor to it. But, you're getting those... Those floral hops, whatever the whatever they use, um, let's see what they because they did give the ingredients. Uh, it said malt, pale pilsen Vienna, and aromatic malts. I don't I've never heard of aromat aromatic malts before. And hops it says Willamette, Tetnanger, and Cascade. So you brew, home brewers probably know what those are, but I I certainly don't. But 
I'm sure whatever this is coming from is these aromatic malts, but this is a really light bodied beer too. I mean really, really thin, thin mouthfeel and a lot of carbonation. It's got a somewhat crisp and clean finish, but Maybe just a little citrus dryness to the finish, but this is mostly like 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 on the aroma, the the, the taste. This this is a flower garden. This is this is one definitely one of the oddest beers um, I've ever had. So let me uh, sit and let this warm up a bit. I'm sure this is this is not going to be a definitely not a at 4.2 percent ABV. It's not even going to be a winter warmer. Let's let it warm up a bit and see if it might it might turn into a lawnmower beer, but at about nine nine bucks a six pack. Fortunately, I found this in a single bottle. Oh, but at least they put, well, now I don't know what this code is. I have no idea. There's some sort of code on the bottle, but I have no idea. But anyway, let me sit and let this warm up a bit. I'll be back after a while with final thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's been 20 minutes or so. As you can see, there's still quite a bit left in the in the in the glass. Um, this isn't an undrinkable beer, but it's not a very good drinking beer. Um, it's hard to drink. Um, not quite a drain pour. I, maybe you know, in the summer when it's hot, this might make a good lawnmower beer, but not at that price per six pack. I'm glad I only bought the one bottle. I, if I see some more from this brewery on a you know in the single bottle section I'll I'll try them but um, I don't know I don't like drinking roses I mean that's not beer to me um, It, the citrus is, it's not warmed up a ton, but the citrus has come out a little bit, but you still get that the sweet lemon-lime flavor, not the, they're, they're, well, 11 IBUs, there's no bitterness on this at all. This is just a sweet, sweet beer. Um, I'm going to have to give this, um, it's not undrinkable, which would be a 2 out of 10. Um, but it's barely better than undrinkable, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. I can finish it, but I'll definitely never buy it again. So, until uh, next time, everybody, the Chameleon Brewing, hop on top, from Glendale, Wisconsin, gets a 3 out of 10. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.